bunch of trash for Jeremy to take to the dumpster and they're all mad at me because we've been like walking around for the last 15 minutes and that didn't include breakfast. Good morning. Good morning love bird. Good morning girly girlies. You guys not They have to knock it over. Good morning, pork chop. Are you taking that snooze? Yeah. Still sleeping. All right. Crazies. Monster. Yes. You want to eat the goat's cookies? He's like, I know I'm in trouble. I'm hiding. Silly peer peer. Where's Patty? <laughs> Hi, Padme. Hi, friends. Here we go. Yep. Let's go get the babies. <laughs> Kitty check after everybody's moved. There's the, the hangster. Hi, buddy. Meow. Meow. There's cat food for you. Been out getting into something. Luke, where is everybody? I got a goat and no cow. Out of concern, I think, for pork chop, have asked me recently if we um, raise our animals for meat here on the farm. And so I thought today we would talk about what animals we raise for meat and why, so that you guys can kind of understand what our plans are. Good morning, pretty girl. Where's the oh, gobbles is where she's not supposed to be. Okay, go get her. We know where it's grounding out. And she's gotten herself into fruit trees. I go over here and step on the fence to see if I can get her to come through. You're trouble. You are. Why are you such trouble?
princess never gets out. She never tests it. It's always just gobbles. Good morning, piggies. You guys ready for breakfast? Are you guys ready? Yeah, let's go have some breakfast. Good morning. We are gonna run <coughs> some water into one of the mud holes they've dug out for them today. They have a swimming pool, obviously, but sometimes they just really like to be caked in mud and the mud keeps them cool. So we will do that for them today. Did mom remember this morning? Yeah, did we get it before you dragged it off? All gone. I know. It's all gone, buddy. The mama cat is just right outside out there at the tractor. It's amazing how fast these guys get big. They're already probably one and a half times the size that they were when they were born. This is what they do. They sleep all day and then mama comes and feeds them. Looking for mama. They're doing good. Ready for breakfast. Here we go. Okay, so do we raise our animals on the farm for me? The simple answer is yes. We do and have raised animals for meat on our farm since we started. It's a really great way to provide meat for our family. It's a little bit cheaper than buying at the store. And we know where meat came from. We know that the animal had a good ethical lifespan. And that, I know a lot of homesteaders raise meat because they want to raise their own organic meat and they want to know what's in it and how the animal was raised and those kind of things. We really wanted to raise our own meat to kind of be self-sufficient in a way, to save money and to be able to provide for our family. Big Pig, we're gonna fill up your mud hole.
there's plenty of room for both of you. So what animals have we raised for meat now that these two are happy? We have raised um, chicken, beef, and um, obviously pork for meat in the past. The whole point of having the Cooney Coonies was to have um, pork in a manageable way on the farm. Um, they're a great homestead pig. We have raised chickens in the past. We raised them on grass and hoop coops. We raised, um, one year we raised about 25 and the next year we raised about 100. Uh, we really loved raising our own chicken. We haven't done it in a couple of years because it just hasn't been practical for us. Chicken is, it's more work out of all the things that you could raise for meat. It's the fastest, it's super efficient, but it's a lot more work for you on the day to day and we just haven't done it in a few years but we are trying to think of a way that we could co-op with another family for um, eggs and meat chickens We have raised our own beef for years. Uh, the issue that I have with the beef is that it is grass fed and I don't particularly enjoy grass fed beef. Um, I am just flavor wise, definitely prefer stockyard beef. So for me, it, we've, we've raised it and we have never finished the beef that we've gotten from the processor. We've intentionally raised one steer for beef and we didn't really raise it well enough um, and then another, the last two cows that we've um, used and processed were um, cows that were injured or one cow that had a really bad attitude and she had to go. We have never raised goats for meat and never I never intend to. Our goats are dairy goats. If you guys are new and you don't know that, our goats are designed for milk. So it would be like a Jersey or a Holstein cow. Nigerians are for milk. So you absolutely could butcher one of these guys, but it would probably not be worth your time. Just because they're designed to put all of their food into milk production, not into meat. So no eating the goats. So no worries about that. As far as our plans for our beef, uh, we are keeping Princess due to the pandemic. It's a lot cheaper right now to process your own beef than it is to buy beef at the store. We live in the poultry capital of the world, so chicken is still pretty available to us. But as far as beef goes, that's princess is being kept basically as either a replacement heifer or as beef. Beef prices are, as far as like selling a cow, are not very good right now and it's almost better to just process it for yourself than even to take them to the sale barn and sell. So now to answer the question you guys have all been asking me, which is, are we gonna eat toonie or pork chop? And the answer is no. So these guys are in their forever pig home, unless something drastic changes. They're our breeding pair. So the plan is to breed them, have piglets, keep probably two or three, two piglets from each litter and raise for pork. We have slaughtered a Cooney Cooney pig before and I'm gonna do a whole video on that for you guys about their meat and benefits and kind of what we got out of that pig. So no worries about <laughs> the big pig. Thanks, buddy. Or his girlfriend, Tooney. These are our breeding pair. So they'll live their lives out here on the farm, um, just making babies. And the babies will be, we will grow out their babies each year for meat. I know that some of you that don't farm may not really understand how we can hand raise an animal and slaughter it and eat it. And it's not an easy thing. I think you ask anybody who does it, even for a living, even these commercial farmers, the animals serve a purpose. They live their best life here on the farm. They're absolutely spoiled. You guys can see how well taken care of they are. They have the best medical care, the best food. They're happy, they're spoiled rotten. And if they can serve a purpose for meat for us or milk or whatever purpose they serve for us, then I think that's the best way to honor the animal. I think I always try to remember that we're really privileged to be able to gr grow and raise our own meat here on the farm. Not everybody 
is always gonna have that ability or to buy from a local farmer and that commercial farming allows us to feed a lot of people cheaply so that everybody can afford quality food. So I hope you guys are happy to know that pork chop is, is totally fine. It's not, we're not gonna eat him. He's our breeding pig and we've never grown the pigs out from piglets. So that's gonna be a new opportunity for us waffles is like Mar. I'm just really hoping he's not gonna bite me. And we've, you guys have seen the video we've talked about maybe raising rabbits for meat. I don't know about all that fluffy bunnies. Leave me a comment about what animal do you think you would like to grow for meat on your farm if you had a farm? Is there uh, something that you enjoy buying locally if you don't? Or is there something that you would think, or is it just something that you didn't, don't think you could do? I'm an animal lover, you guys can tell that I hope by the videos that I really love my animals and we take great care of them and it's not an easy thing, but the animals do have purpose on our farm. Good day night night to the pickles. Toonie, you're all muddy. You're all muddy, Toonie. I say pigs. What do you think, pork chops? pepper with her. You're just gonna have some treats because you're spoiled. Here he comes. Come on Peps! Come on, it's dinner. enjoyed today's video so very excited pork chop is gonna stay on the farm he's gonna be our breeding pig so you don't have to worry but we do raise you know animals for meat if you have any questions about that just leave it in the comments we'd be happy to answer them if you like this video give us a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you know every time we put out a new video we really appreciate you guys and all the liking and subscribing and commenting that you guys do thank you so much for watching our videos and liking our channel and we will see you guys in the next video.